Right, so I'm really sick of my own company at the moment, so I thought I'd bore everybody else with the contents of my brain for a bit. Um, history facts. Is anyone interested in history facts? Probably not, but you're going to get it anyway. I don't give a shit if you watch it or not. Um, so, firstly, I'm freaked out by how close the video thing comes to your face. You take a picture, you're miles away, it's all flattering and all that shit switch it to video and suddenly it's right up in your face. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the size of my hair? Jesus Christ. I was due a haircut the first week of lockdown. Hi Fran. Um, and it's quite the monstrosity. So anyway, um, so are we sitting comfortably children? Then I'll begin. Um, this week's victim is George Drysdale, who was born in 1824. Um, and I love George because George was a massive wanker. Um, this is him. I've got a photograph of him. This is George here with his brother Charles. Um, the, according to Getty, who owned the picture, this was created somewhere between 1843 and 48. You have to excuse me, I'm reading notes here because I can't remember half the numbers. Um, but I know it can't have been after 1844. Uh, for reasons which will become apparent. So George is about 18 in that photo. He's best, I'll take my hands out of the way of my face. He's um, best known now for writing a book called Physical, Sexual and Natural Religion, which was later renamed The Elements of Social Science. It was notorious at the time and for a long time afterwards because George was very um, liberal in his views on sexuality. Um, he thought a healthy and active sex life was a good thing, which wasn't a common public belief at the time. Jesus, look at the state of this. Um, and he once stated, and I'll have to read my notes, chastity or sexual abstinence causes more real disease and misery in one year, I believe, than in sexual excesses do in a century. Go, George. Um, and he was really keen on sexually transmitted diseases being caused by infection rather than overuse, which was, again, a common thing at the time. They honestly thought you could, you know, use your bits too much till they fell off or got diseased. Um, but all this isn't even the most interesting thing about George. The thing about George is that he rose from the dead. Um, he was travelling in Austria in 1844 at the age of 19, uh, and he fell in the River Danube and he drowned. There's witnesses, was witnesses, they're not alive now, witnesses to this who reported it back to his family in Fife. They were a very well-to-do family, Sir William Drysdale, as you think from memory, is his father. Um, and that was that. They'd lost their son. Um, he was the second youngest of four, I think. Um, and they grief-stricken but got on with their lives. 18 months later... George turns up on the doorstep, quite literally, he just came back and um, obviously had to explain himself. Um, it, it's sketchy as to what he's actually, how you explain you disappeared for 18 months. He said he walked back from Hungary, which is quite impressive by any standards, um, to Fife in Scotland. Um, what became clear later is he's had some form of nervous breakdown because George had been under the mistaken belief from about the age of 14 that he wanked too much. He, um, there's diary records of him indulging three or four times a day from early teenage years. And given the social beliefs of the time, George thought this was a bad thing. Um, and he was so worried about it that he faked his own death in Hungary. Um, there's evidence um, of him having tried all sorts of supposed remedies for this whilst in Hungary. I mean, looking back, he probably had, you know, some form of stress-induced nervous breakdown. But this involved, his attempts to cure this, involved um, on several occasions coating a metal rod in caustic substance and inserting it down his penis, which can't have been very nice. Um, apparently in the hope that it would deaden the nerves. Um Clearly it didn't work because George decided to divert his obsession with masturbation into academic research into it, basically. I've got a dog. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Come here. 
This is Albert. Say hi, Albert. Albert can sit here so he doesn't bark at everybody. Um, so, yeah, he, he'd tried loads of um, cures for wanking and it didn't work. So he came back and wrote books about it. He was um, a depressive for all his life um, and struggled. But uh, the key thing about George is that he realised that it wasn't a problem. Um, George Drysdale recommended wanking. So um, there you go. That's today's history, babe, which is what I'm going to call them. I have no idea who I'm going to do next or if I'm ever going to be able to video anything without a dog disturbing me. Brilliant mug of the day. Vagina Museum. Go when it reopens. Mm. Anyway, so that's me procrastinating for today. Uh, let me know if there's anything, anyone you'd specifically like to learn about or not because I'll tell you about it anyway so bye